Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Rose and today I'm going to be showing you guys my wash day routine for my waistline hair. So let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to start off by wetting my hair with warm water. Warm water really helps to open up the cuticles of the hair shaft. So I'm going to make sure that I'm completely wetting every single part of my hair. And since I have a lot of hair, this takes a little bit of time. And be careful not to fling water in your eye like I did. That's one of the most annoying parts of washing my hair. So now I'm just sectioning my hair into four sections. I have really thick hair so it's easier for me to do my hair in sections versus trying to do it all at once. Now I'm just going to take my first section and re-wet it just to make sure my cuticles are open with the warm water. Then I'm going to take my Tresemme conditioner and I like to apply a generous amount of conditioner for the best slip. And I'm just going to thoroughly apply that from roots to ends all over the section. I like this conditioner because it's super cheap and it has really good slip. But it does have sulfates in it but because I wash my hair every 3-6 to six weeks the sulfates really don't bother me that much. Now I'm going to split that section into two and the top section is going to be smaller than the bottom because it's easier to detangle that part of my hair in a smaller section because it's a lot thicker and the bottom can be detangled all at once. So I prefer to finger detangle. I feel like I get the least amount of breakage and the most control over my hair. And I just slide my fingers through my hair shaft and when it gets caught on a tangle, I take both hands and gently pull the tangle apart. And eventually I'm able to slide my hand completely through my hair without any snags. To make sure my hair is fully detangled, I do take a wide tooth comb and just comb through my hair. I do this very gently making sure that when it gets caught to stop and work through the tangles. And when I'm done, the comb slides right through and my hair is completely detangled. And then I just twist that section up and repeat with the rest of the sections. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, definitely make sure to give me a thumbs up. 
click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a new video. My goal is to get a thousand subscribers this month and I just got halfway there. Also, definitely check me out on my social medias. My goal is to get to 1,500 Instagram followers this month. And I just reached 50K on TikTok. So definitely follow me on there if you're interested in more natural hair tips. Now I'm going in with my OGX Tea Tree and Mint Shampoo. I really like this shampoo because it is inexpensive and anything with peppermint and tea tree really gives my scalp a nice fresh feel. This shampoo also doesn't have any sulfates in it, I believe. So I take a good size amount for my entire head, probably half the amount of conditioner that I would use on just one section. And this is the secret to making your wash day super easy, especially for those of us who have very kinky, coily hair, is washing your hair in twists. Washing your hair in twists really helps to prevent tangles, especially if you condition first. That's why I opt to condition and detangle my hair first because it allows me to be able to protect my hair from the shampoo and keep it moisturized. That way it doesn't cause any unnecessary tangles and I have to detangle my hair all over again. This literally saves you so much time. Then I'm just gonna rinse that out again with warm water to keep my cuticles open, letting the shampoo kind of glide down the rest of my hair since I only focus on my scalp when I shampoo. And I kind of make sure to kind of shake my hair at the root just to make sure that all the shampoo is off my scalp. I'm gonna go in with my favorite deep conditioner of all time, the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafira Oil. And I'm gonna take two twists and undo them. And then I'm going to take a generous amount of this deep conditioner and really apply it to my hair from root to ends, making sure I'm not missing any spots. You can tell that this deep conditioner really works well with my hair because my hair soaks it right up and you don't see any white residue left on my hair when I finish applying. I also applied a little bit more and split my hair in two to really make sure I got it everywhere. Now I'm taking my homemade oil mix, which is an OG product that I have been using from the very beginning of my journey. And I'm going to apply that to the section as well. This literally makes my hair feel so soft. My fingers just completely glide through my hair after I apply this. This is something that has really helped me in my journey to growing waist length hair. If you guys want to see the video of where I make it, definitely follow me on TikTok because I will be posting it very, very, very soon.
So once I'm done with everything, I'm going to put my hair in a bun and I'm going to let this sit. Usually I like to let it sit for about an hour, but sometimes if I'm lazy, I'll just let this sit for the rest of the day and then finish my hair the next day. So this is the amount of shed hair that I had, which was not a lot at all, especially because I had braids in for five weeks. So I let my deep conditioner sit for about an hour and 15 minutes and I decided to put on a Walmart bag as well as my bonnet to lock in heat. If I'm pressed for time, like if I only have like 30 minutes, I'll usually just sit under the dryer with the Walmart bag on to really get that heat in there. But today I had time so I just decided to wear my bonnet instead. So I went ahead and rinsed out the deep conditioner with cold water which helps to close the cuticles and keep moisture in. So the last thing that I'm going to do is moisturize my hair and just prepare it for whatever style I'm going to do. So my hair started to get dry, so I just sprayed it with some warm water. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite leave-in conditioner by Blueberry Bliss, and I'm just going to add that to the section. And I'm gonna work that in really, really well. Then I'm going to go in with another OG product, which is my homemade shea butter cream. This is the video that helped me go viral on TikTok. It has over 3 million views now, so definitely go check that out. This is definitely a staple in my routine. This really helps to just seal in all that moisture from the water and the leave-in. Literally, my hair stays moisturized for weeks. I'm just going to twist that section up and repeat on the rest of my head. And as you can see, my hair is super shiny and bouncy and it looks super, super moisturized, which is always my goal on wash days. Okay guys, well that is it for my wash day routine. So I decided to do mini twists after this. And if you want to see how that turned out, I have a video on TikTok. As well as my previous video, I'm wearing the style when I talk about my natural hair journey. So definitely go check that out. I also will be posting a mini twist tutorial on my YouTube channel. So definitely subscribe so you can stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.